second graders, it's Mrs. Compton again. Um, I hope you watched my last video, but if you haven't, you've probably seen me around school or I've been in your classroom working with you. So um, welcome back. We are going to do another number talk. And our first question, remember, number talks are all mental math. No paper, no pencil, just your brains. So we're solving in our heads using strategies. So the first one is 200 minus 100 equals what? All right, 200 minus 100. All right, what do you guys think? 200 minus 100 equals? I think I heard 100. That's right. And I bet some of you knew that because 100 plus 100 makes 200. All right, here's the next one. You ready? 200 minus 50 equals what? All right, let's do some think time. Get your hands on your hearts, get your heart signal going. And when you have one way of solving, you'll go like this, just like in class, and two ways of solving, you go like this, just like in class. All right, so show me your thinking. My little dog is here. All right, what do you think the answer is? All right, whisper it to me. Did you say 150? I think you did. 150. Okay, so how did you know the answer to that was 150? I'm gonna guess that some of you thought, hmm, 200 minus 100 would make 100. And 200 minus just 50 would have to give us 50 more over here because we're taking off 50 less over here. Okay, so let's check that out on a number line. Here's 200. You said 200 minus 100 would give us 100. But 200 minus 50 would just be whoop, half of that. So the answer would be 150. Because two 50s make up 100. Am I right? I think so. Um, I think I know that too because you guys have been working on money, money, money all year. You've heard me singing about it. You've seen me talking about it. All right, so you guys know. 50 cents plus 50 cents would make a dollar, right? So we can actually use our knowledge of money to help us in this question. So you can almost think about it as $2 or $200 minus 50 or 50 cents would give us 150 or 150 cents. All right, so are you ready for the next one? What if we did 200 minus 55 this time? What would you do? Think about that. Take some time to think. Give me your heart signal. Show me if you have one way. The second way. Okay, on the count of three, are you ready to tell me? One, two, three, tell me. Hmm, did you say 145 or 155? I bet some of you said 155, and some of you, I bet, said 145. And I bet that's because of this 150 up here. So I think you knew there would be a difference of five between the answers, but did you go up five or did you go down five? So let's find out. What is the actual answer? Is it 155 or is it 145? All right, so if we have 200, let's check it out because I know we've got a lot of number line fans out there. If we have 200 
and we're taking off 55, we already knew that 200 minus 50 from the last question was 150. And now you have to take off five more. So we have to go down five more. So 150 minus five more would be 145. So it, the, our answer would be 200, to 200 minus 55 would equal 145. So let's get that on there. What's another way that you thought to solve this problem? So I bet some of you probably even did split the 50 and the 55. And I bet some of you actually did 200 minus 50 equals 150 because you knew that from the last problem. And then 150 minus that last five would be 140. Five. All right, good thinking there, kids. Okay, let's check out our story problem today. Are you ready to hear it? All right, let's check it out. Now, kids, it's time to grab a paper and a pencil and some tools. If you have some tools available to you, whoop, I'm gonna pop over here. My poster was falling. All right, so um, you're gonna grab some tools so we can hear our story problem. And our story problem this time is all about library books. Now, I hope you all have some library books at home because the libraries I hear are closed while we're in quarantine. This is crazy, right? All right, so our story today is all about library books and um, all of your classrooms have classroom libraries in them. So this story is about Polly and her classroom had 200 books. And hopefully before the quarantine, you got to take some books home too. Um, so her classmates took home 75 books. We are trying to figure out how many books are left in the classroom. Okay, so let's think about that again. So Polly's classroom had how many books to start? Okay, she had 200 books to start, okay. Then her classmates took out, or checked out how many books from the classroom library. 75, and we're trying to figure out how many books are left in the classroom. All right, kids, it's your turn to solve. Grab your paper, grab your pencils, and then follow your directions from your teachers. So some of your teachers might say, post this on um, their classroom website, or maybe some of them are saying, post it on Flipgrid, or maybe some of your teachers are saying, tell your parents what you did and how you solved. So it's time to solve this story. Ready, set, go. See you next time, kids. Bye.